Hello everybody, welcome to Short Shot Archery. I think I'm going to spruce the place up a bit. We took down those old banners, and I think I'm just going to fill these walls with archery stickers. I think it'll come out pretty cool. I probably don't have enough currently to do that. Back to the video at hand, today I want to talk about is your bow too heavy for you? Are you pulling too much weight? So uh, I broke this into a couple little sections so that we can, you know, talk about this whole topic. And at any point in time, if you feel like uh, you know there was something I missed, please uh, leave uh, your idea, comment, or whatever down in the comment section of this video. I would really like to read them. So I think the first thing that we need to address is, you know, what is you know drawing too much weight. Uh, you know, how is your bow too heavy? What are some of the signs uh, that you may have a problem? So, we're talking about bow weight here. We're going to save stabilizer weight for another video because that's a whole topic in itself. So, some signs that your bow is too heavy for you would be um, you have a problem getting through six arrows or three arrows at an indoor tournament. Um, other things is you have the bow full draw and you're just you're shaking like a leaf that's also not a you know a good sign now you know you could be tired or whatever at, at you know certain points in time maybe you had a long day at work you know earlier in the day and now you're shooting at night you know things like that are understandable um, what I'm talking about is something that is a common occurrence every time you shoot you're tired by the time you shoot the third arrow or uh, every time you, you shoot, every shot you're shaking. Some other things would be, if you're coming up to full draw and you feel like you're really putting in a lot of effort you know, to, to keep that string back there. You're leaning back into the shot in order to like brace uh, your body to be able to hold that uh, weight of the bow. Um, another key point would be if you're you know, constantly drawing back, you get the full draw, yeah, you're just tired, you, you got to set down. If you're constantly setting down and stuff, that's probably another sign that the bow's just a little bit too heavy. You know, obviously your arrows could be too long and, and things like that too. But uh, these are some of the key points that, you know, came to mind and things that I've experienced, you know, in the past. Because for me right now, I feel like I'm in a pretty good position. Uh, with you know strength to you know bow weight, I feel like I'm pretty good at that. But I have a test that you can try out yourself, or you know with your friends to see you know ooh is my bow a little bit too heavy? And then at the end I'm going to have some solutions to maybe be able to uh, fix that problem for you. It's funny if there's LA 2024 stickers, especially since now it's LA 2028, but they were pretty helpful. Of course, it'll be cool to go to uh, France first, but back to is your bow weight uh, too much for you? So first you need to grab your bow, probably get your finger tab. You won't need a finger sling because you won't actually be letting go of the string. And what you're going to do is you're going to draw back and then count and hold for three seconds and then draw down but not all the way and then draw back again now you're going to want to do this seven times and when you hit the seventh one there should be minimum to no shaking at all so I'll go and do it real quick Uh, I think that was over seven. Anyway, I lost count there. So, I learned this from my trip up to Canada when I got to get uh, you know hands-on training with Coach Kim from Korea. Now, he told me in Korea their standard is ten times. Can you draw the bow back and hold it ten times before you start shaking? 
He said, everybody else, go for seven. <laughs> so if you really want to hold yourself to a Korean standard, then you probably want to go and work towards the ten times because that would be ten arrows. Yes, you only shoot six arrows in a tournament at max, you know, per end, but you would then have the strength to shoot four more, so those first six should be really nice and easy. Um, for me, I can do seven pretty much without a problem. I can go to ten, but now I'm going to cover what you can do to help improve this because the average person isn't going to go and buy a brand new set of limbs or, you know, totally change their bow within reason. Now, if you just jumped up like six pounds, so you went from 40 pounds to 46 pounds, that was probably not the smartest idea. You wanted to take that in small increments, like two pounds at a time. So you probably want to back out your tiller bolts and things like that. But let's go for some little more economically friendly uh, ways of getting stronger without uh, breaking the bank and buying a whole new set of limbs. The sticker wall is coming along. So, some things you can do to make your bow lighter or you stronger that are affordable. Uh, the quickest and easiest would be to just uh, bring your tiller bolts out, so back them out. You can only go so far with them, so make sure you read your instruction manual that came with your bow, uh, because you can't leave it on one thread and expect it to hold the weight of the limbs, you know, being drawn back at full draw or just being strung. So there, there is a uh, a minimum you can go with how far you can take your limb bolts out, but uh, that's a good step. That way, you could probably drop like eh, two pounds worth of weight maybe more, uh, kind of depends, but you're probably looking on average two pounds. Uh, next up would be, and I find, it, I find it to be just really good for archery as a whole, is doing push-ups. So you could either just, you know, challenge yourself and maybe a friend, like, because get, get your friends involved in this, or, or family members, it, it's, you know, it's, it's good for everyone overall, but it is really good for your archery. Um, you can either pick up a, an app, where it has like a training regimen for doing like things like push-ups and uh, you know stick with that or you could just challenge yourself where you could do you know I'm doing 10 today I'm gonna take one day off I'm gonna do 11 tomorrow and then just keep you know every other day just keep upping it you know one push-up yes it's a long-term thing but I can guarantee it in like a month you're gonna be much stronger than you were at the beginning of the month and it's going to make drawing that bow back a lot easier. Also another thing you could do is practice drawing your bow without an arrow. You can do it at home. Get you know extra practice in so instead of just you know going to the range and shooting just take your bow and uh, draw it back at home. Draw it back and just hold it for those three seconds. And that way you can work on not only good form, but getting stronger to be able to hold that bow at full draw. I think I need to collect more archery stickers. So on the not so economical side of things, you could go out and buy a new set of limbs that are lighter, if that's uh, you know your choice or way of, of doing things, if you're not into the, the push-up realm of things. Other than that, all you can do is really just self-improvement things. So doing those push-ups, you know, drawing back your bow without an arrow at home because you don't need a target because you're not going to shoot and just you know holding for three seconds. Uh, those things are a lot cheaper than buying limbs. Of course the limb companies would definitely prefer you to buy a brand new set and I can't blame them but on the other hand that's probably not the most practical so hopefully you enjoyed watching this video hopefully it gave you an idea 
on like if you're struggling at your local range at home with you know drawing your bow back okay maybe it is too heavy also please keep in mind that if you're shooting several hundred arrows a day you're going to get tired you are only human uh, this is definitely more for the people that you know they're very tired by 30 arrows maybe even you know the the 72 arrows so thank you for watching hopefully I was able to help you out and happy shooting <laughs>